My face is red. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Demon Slayers, Axel Demon Slayer here, and uh, we're gonna watch the Nintendo Direct of September twenty third, twenty twenty one. Um, today it's like three minutes till five o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the reaction screen. Um, and we'll wait, I guess three, four minutes to watch this. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen because of the games that's going to be focused on for this winter. Um, winter runs all the way to March, I believe, so there is a chance that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will be shown. Um, there, there's a big chance for that since they are wanting a 2022 release for it. Um, the other thing is, <coughs> they're uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Ah, eh, fuck the COVID fucking thing. I just had it. Monster Hunter. Of course. That's set for summer, not for winter. Hello, everyone. Do you want it? Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise. Sunbreak, the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer 2022. I don't care. Please stay tuned for more information in the future. All right, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Party during the day or at night. It's almost time to party in the Mario Party Superstars game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Take a stroll around Woody Woods, but watch out for those Monty Moles. They'll change the board's direction when you least expect it. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's Tropical Island. Toadette's got the star, but she might swap places with Bowser at the last second. Party day and night in Horror Land. That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, It'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame-only courses. Compete against players worldwide for the longest win streak in survival. Or work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. Mount Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, friends, and frenemies, and get ready for the party of a lifetime. Mario Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. 
A new RPG is in the cards. Oh, great. Welcome to Voice of Cards. Queen's behest, you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists, to shops, towns, and environments. In this fresh take on tabletop RPGs, you'll square off in turn-based card battles, where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor. Spellbinding experience from the creative minds of Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito is about to unfold. Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars, launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. It's a little fucking weird. We're starting off slow. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal, devoid of your memories. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors and available choices will change depending on how you develop. Couldn't the they have done a regular trailer for this? What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical version of the game will launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. Y'all could have done a regular trailer for that and Uncover not included it in this. In Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Okay, here we go. About fucking time. Uh oh. Seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm you. Shattered memories. Okay, that's pretty cool. Robbie's getting a playable character. Chocobo Racing. Oh. Chocobo GP. Race familiar Final Fantasy characters like Chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first across the finish line. Edge out the competition by using Drift Boost to cut corners. Magical stones called Magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like fire and arrow to blast away opponents. Acquire Magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Each racer also has a special ability. It's a Mario Party. Right time to turn the tables. 
Final Fantasy game. I'm gonna definitely get this. Up to 64 players can compete in a bracket style tournament to determine the racing champion. Chocobo GP races exclusively onto Nintendo Switch next year. I'm gonna get it. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. Okay. He'll also show you how to use this fighter, so please look forward to it. It's been about three years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. Next, please cool. take a look at this. October 5th, we get the final Smash character. This looks cool. Kinda earthboundy. Dude, what if they do remake Earthbound? Oh, that's a Kirby game. It's an actual Kirby 64. That's fucking cool. I thought these were supposed to be for winter that was releases. For Kirby and the Forgotten Land. So far they've done like spring and summer releases. Game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. I didn't also appears to be mysterious filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. <laughs> we hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. I mean, I can possibly check it out, but Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. That's Zelda music. No, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking Animal Crossing crap. Okay. Don't care. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. 
in preparation for its release. I don't like playing Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in life games inside of in life. We'll go over the content in more detail. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. I like to escape away from life, not, Let's not move on play to life Nintendo inside of Switch life. Headlines. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Four! More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush game. Hey, y'all have already said Koopa that. Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Dish out tricky shots and dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji will also be playable. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Two courses are also being added. Okay. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. Y'all can have fun with that. What's this? An invitation. You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Spend time with Disney friends. Craft your own whimsical costumes and furniture. And explore delightful Disney-themed worlds. All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS version is included. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Yo, Star Wars. A Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating planets and join forces. Yo, this is getting a remake too. Droids and outcasts in this blend of action, role playing, and adventure. Will you use the Force for good, or will you be lured to the dark side? Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. You know, I really want that game because it's also getting a remake and it'd be cool to like one thing you must always remember. see what's different Stay and which human. ones. This is the city, humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open world action RPG. Explore alone or with up to three other players in online co-op as you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. So if you guys are going to put Dead Light, Dying Light 2 on here, y'all need to put Dying Light 1 on here too. But they'll also have consequences. Just saying. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go. Okay. Dying Light Platinum Edition. Good. Search for supplies, craft weapons, and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world. Dying Light 2 Stay Human Cloud Version launches on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. A free demo will also launch the same day on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre cool. begin today on Nintendo eShop. Utility, morality, or liberty. It was, this is in triangle strategy. Yeah, it a is. Fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. My apologies. Your actions will lead you through a riveting story that changes based on the decisions you make. In the end, where will your conviction guide you? You have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that receive lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls. Oh, good. The ability to review previous dialogue. Oh, that's cool. So I can... Streamlined game flow and loading times. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Splendid. Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Switch March 4th, 2022. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. All right, here we go, some more dread.
carry a small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. Cool. This looks good. The most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread Reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo okay. Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. Yeah, we have. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. As a part of this new plan's content... 64. Fuck it, called it. <laughs> You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. Good. <laughs> the Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. I think the system gave many players their first 3D gaming experiences. See, this is really good for some people that doesn't have a 64 like myself. But then again, I don't have all the games that I would like to have on the 64. In addition to the Nintendo 64 games, Sega! you can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. <laughs> this means you'll be able to play these classic games whenever and wherever you'd like. The new plan will include like all that. elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership as well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 game shown here. What was that game well on the end? Games. We'll also continue adding more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games going forward. Sad Pokemon Snap. Furthermore, we've prepared Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. Both can be used wirelessly. Nintendo bought Sega. These controllers will be available for purchase by any Nintendo Switch online... Nintendo bought Sega. 
We hope you'll look forward to this new membership plan. Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. This is huge. Nintendo actually bought Sega. Nintendo Switch headlines. There's plenty to play in these collections. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Immersive branching narratives, skill-based character growth, and gripping turn-based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. The perpetual struggle against Count Dracula continues. Castlevania Advance Collection brings together four classic Castlevania games with deathly beautiful graphics and hauntingly epic music. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp up your fight against evil. All regional versions of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork, are included. Castlevania Advance That's Collection cool. launches on Nintendo Switch later today. An almighty classic returns. The classic Super NES game Act Razor returns on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. As the Lord of Light and Almighty God, only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and magic to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. New stages and new boss battles also await. Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later today. That's crazy. A new chapter is about to unfold. Everybody got a chapter on that. Dude, you're like behind on that shit. Everybody knows about this already. That was literally already a thing. Like, you're behind on that, Nintendo. Unless they were just now adding Delta Run to it. Number five's coming to the Switch. I like Pac-Man games, dude. How's everything? There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Koizumi-san. Oh, Miyamoto-san. What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer Chris Melodandri-san, who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big screen. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. 
Ta da! The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. Okay. The release date for North America is on December 21st and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario. Chris Pratt is gonna play Mario? What Pratt. the fuck? He's so cool. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I can't wait to see. I haven't very seen her play. Peach. I haven't watched anything that she's done. Mario's little brother Luigi will be played by <laughs> Charlie Day. Cool. I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. That is cool. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. I can see it. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. Even though this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. Okay. I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. And of course, Charles Martinet who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years is also involved and that is good in surprise cameos in the movie cool we also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters that is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie this is a very collaborative project between That took up three minutes of our fucking time. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It oh, I may bet. be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Oh, I'm looking forward to this you. movie. I'm definitely looking forward to this movie. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. Next, we'd like to show you this. Better be something Zelda. Nope. Of course. Please don't take up the last five minutes. The gameplay looks a lot... more intense. story mode there's an actual story mode there's gonna be a story mode I fucking called that years ago researcher from the squid research lab I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form what you just saw was the latest research footage from splatoon 3 
allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. So we're not getting any Legend of Zelda like trilogies or anything. Four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most. Like that whole thought. And that whole thing is dead. The trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from story mode, the single player campaign. Return of the mammalians. Meaning the reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme of story mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Please look forward to more Splatoon 3. Updates to come. It's like the cheesiest shit I've ever fucking. Cheesiest way to fucking so, ever. What did you think? <laughs> Splatoon 3, taking place in a new world, is scheduled to release in 2022. That's a long fucking way. Please look forward to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please be Zelda. Take a look. Please be Zelda. All right, I see platinum. This isn't a platinum game. This better be Bayonetta. But it's not. That's Bayonetta. Fucking is. About fucking time. About fucking time. They fucking give us this shit. Fucking Nintendo. It's about time. Took them how many years to give us this trailer? To give us news on Bayonetta 3 was so fucking long and stupid.
This is good. It's not Zelda, but it's good. That's a nod to Devil May Cry. I like the new logo. I like the new logo. 2022. Ooh, what's this? Is that the new antagonist? What you just saw was the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. This game will launch next year. We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's 19, new 20, encounters. 21. Took them four years to give us that. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching.